Donnelly Coffee Plantation Donnelly Coffee Plantation or known as Donnelly Agrotarism is placed to see a various tropical plantation and the famous coffee Iluwak. Donnelly Coffee Plantation or known with popular name Donnelly Agrotarism is a place to see various tropical plantations such as coffee robusta, pineapple, balnese snake fruit salak, plain balnese potatoes, fruit stars, cacao, jackfruit, durian tree and many more. Experience to see how to make balnese coffee in very traditional ways and taste the fresh of balnese coffee or ginger tea with Greenview River Valley and also they sell variety of theirs original balnese coffee products, herb oil and etc and see the civet cat the most expensive coffee maker, well known as Luwak it's produce coffee Luwak, no entrance fee. History of Coffee Luwak Coffee Luwak has a unique history behind the legend. In the early 18th century the Dutch established coffee plantations on the volcanic islands of the Dutch East Indies. This Coffee Luwak Arabica coffee hails from the mystical island of Bali. During the early years Dutch coffee plantation owners forbade the local natives from harvesting and brewing the coffee beans for their own consumption. The indigenous people, being resourceful, soon discovered that the Asian palm civet favored eating coffee beans. These luwak beans were collected, washed, sun-dried and then roasted to produce a coffee with a deep richness, minus the acidity. The process of the bean passing through the digestive tract of the civet chemically alters the proteins in the copia luwak coffee bean to yield more complex and smooth flavors, not found in conventional coffees. The resulting coffee is said to be like no other in the world literally. It has a rich, heavy flavor with hints of caramel and slash or chocolate. Other terms used to describe it are earthy, musty and exotic. The body can be syrupy and it's the smoothest coffee you will ever have. One must wonder how this coffee came to be. How was it discovered who thought of drinking coffee in which an animal would eat and then expel? There are many theories out there but personally this one is my favorite. It is theorized that local low-income families and natives could not afford to purchase coffee since they barely had enough to survive. Therefore they picked up the Luwax dropping and prepared them for roasting. Of course they were all well cleaned and proper steps were taken to make sure it was consumable. Guess what? Now this coffee Luwak is known as a worldwide delicacy. Yeah.